Hey everybody, Anne here, and I've been taking advantage of the fair weather to get some work done on the van, and I really wanted to share it with you. So here's what I've been able to get done so far. The brackets are officially out. They are out. I cannot believe it. The lighting's not real good. Maybe you can see that. They're all out. The floor is filthy. Um, yeah, they're all out underneath it there too. Oh, and you know what? I don't know if this desk is going to work. I really just don't think it's going to work because it's too high. Even if I take the, the feet off um, from, like, I tried to sit on it and it just, my head hits the top and I can't even sit all the way up. So, I don't know, my cool find as far as the desk is concerned, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work at all. I hope it does. Here's the brackets. I'm going to give them to the guy. I could not possibly have gotten these out on my own. There's just no way. But I'm going to see if he can take them and scrap them. You know, get some money for them and whatnot. So now I just need to start taking stuff out. And you know what I may do? You know what I may do? I may just take the top off this desk and use this big sturdy piece of wood as the top of my um, bed and I don't know if I can use the drawers for anything maybe I can maybe I can't who knows um, but it doesn't look like this this desk is gonna work all right uh well let's get to cleaning yeah well I decided to take the top off the desk because it just wasn't going to be usable even if we cut it down further. It's an old desk and it would have been destabilized. So I was able to get the screws off part of it and my guy friend took the rest off from the inside. While he was doing it he found something that totally wigged him out. He said he's only afraid of one thing in this world and he thought he saw it in the bottom of the desk. So take a look. All right. What is that? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god, is it a dead snake? Holy sh... Alright, let me... Let me get something. <laughs> Find out what it actually is at the end. You're not going to believe it. So I started tearing out the walls, then the carpet. I wasn't able to get all the side panels or the roof completely off until my guy friend was able to get in there and remove the seat belts, which had these really odd looking bolts in them. Thank God he had the right tools. But as I removed the wall panels, I noticed they had something interesting on the inside of them. I'm not sure, but I'm wondering if I would be able to salvage any of this insulation. I'm going to take it off. I want to see if there's anything I can do with this. It doesn't look like there's any mold on it. There does, there's no moisture or anything. So I'm just going to take all of this off and I'm going to see if there is something that I can do with it. Who knows? Yep, there we go. All that dirty carpeting is out. The panels are out. The ceiling is out. My guy friend disconnected all the electrical stuff and put it off to the side so I didn't short something out. Looks good. Yep, there is the desk. We are definitely going to use that to build the platform for my bed. And there is the heating slash cooling unit we're going to have to build around. Um, back doors. Most of these windows are going to be covered up. Everything looks great. I, I'm just so happy. I mean, it was a lot of work, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. And there is the bed area. I've got the desktop on the bottom. It fits perfectly between the air conditioner slash heater unit and the other wall. I put an air mattress on top of it just to see if it fits, and it does. It's going to be the perfect spot for it. It's going to fit because I'm going to have to build like a little frame around that heating unit that's going to have to be part of the build. It's going to have to be something that I can just pull off if it needs to be serviced, but it's all coming together, folks. It is so, so cool. Okay, for those of you who stuck in here till the end, this is what my friend found and that I ultimately pulled out of the bottom of my desk. Let's see. No, it's hard. Oh my God. 
No. <gasps> it's not a snake. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, it's the <laughs> it's it's the top <laughs> of check this out. It is the top of like an old milk thing. I won't put you on camera. Oh wow. Oops. Did I stop it? Yeah, I did. That's cool. Oh my god, that totally looked like a snake to me. You know how they're segmented? Oh, I know. They're like little baby bike. This is how they used to cover the glass milk. I wouldn't even remember. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> to be honest, everybody, it did look like a snake that had crawled down there and solidified and gotten hard, just kind of like from a distance, even kind of close up. It looked like the segmented body of a dried up snake, so that it wasn't, it wasn't, yay! And uh, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, I don't care, and um, subscribe, oh, oh, and hit the bell, hit the bell. Alrighty, y'all have a good one.